What is up? What is going on? And how you doing? It is FC Neo Tokyo. Welcome back to the channel. It is once again time for my heart and fuego. Ah, I love my heart and fuego. It's like one of the most favorite things I'm doing. What is it? You haven't seen the last couple episodes. Where am I? Listen, my heart and fuego. That's where I take control of the Chicago Fire. We have had a super up and down season. Like, we start off crap we lost a bunch of games now we're firmly in the playoff picture and we're winning games because i finally got to a transfer window now i only meant to overhaul half the team but like there has been an apocalypse and it's still going on every release clause possible is being bought out nemanja nikolic gone dax mccarty gone johan koppelhoff gone all three players a big part of the plans i had going forward now, Georgie Mihaljevic, who has been having a wonderful season. Boom, his, his, he's been bought out. So, he's not gone yet. So, I'm hoping that talks will, will deteriorate. But, you know how that goes. That crap never happens on our for us. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm looking at players. I, I'm not scouting the right left backs. Now, I, I just... Last episode, we did make a purchase. We got Abubakar Kamara. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. Um, they don't have it in the screen. That's okay. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce his name. So, at the end of this episode, we'll have to see how my scar scouting network did because we'll have information back on our left backs. And we may make one more purchase. Because what I would love to do is actually play... Jovan Jones in midfield and have a left back. And then I still need a central defense or a central defensive midfielder and a center back. And I really I need two because see Dax McCarty screwed everything up. Who 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 spend who who buys the the buyout clause for Dax McCarty? I don't know what this is. Anyway, who, who who does that? <laughs> but uh, he screwed everything up. I need two because I want a Bastion Schweinsteiger gone. I had an $8 million offer on the table that I had to get rid of. And then from freaking Everton. And then Arsenal comes walking in. Hey, we'll give you six. Like, <laughs> so I couldn't take either offer. I got to keep him. He was the one player I wanted to move. Oh, I forgot to give him a number. I wonder what goofy ass number they give him. I'm on my, I'm pretty sure my fifth keeper of the season. We started with, uh, man, did, did Richard Sanchez see any minutes? I don't remember. I don't think he did. But we started with Steph in Cleveland. Then we got... So this is how the hosts line up today. We've got it down as a 4-3-3. God, I don't remember. It's a system that the Netherlands used to use all the time i think really they invented it and, total uh, football countries have adopted it since if it i like the 433 uh, tough to handle like everything when i was a kid was 433 everything and then the i when i got back into actually watching soccer when i got into watching professional soccer it was like the era of the 4 the four five one and like and that kind of stunk especially if you were a u.s fan and the one was brian jing oh they gave him number nine i love it i wonder who they took that from i mean i did rip it away from uh i could have got through there but the defender louis soniak wait a second i thought i thought i sold louis soniak Movie talks Beatrice. broke down. Where are we? We're we're in Salt Lake. Ugh. 
Oh boy, I, why does this? Why does the score look different? Is this an open cup game? Okay, no, good. Because I'm winning the open cup. I don't care if I win MLS Cup. I just care if I make the playoffs. But I am winning the open cup. The true number one, Ethan Horvath. Now, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Why? What is going on? Okay. Acosta. It's not on purpose. It's fine. Now, Bastian Schweinsteiger. No, back yourself up to center back. Especially well, since Bastion well freaking screwed the pooch on that one. Acosta. Ah. They gave it straight to him, didn't they? Yep. Yep, he sure did. Shreds it through. Boom. It was a promising situation. I'm <laughs> more of that. It's actually shocking. My entire back oh. line is different than the start of the season. Really, this entire team, oh, except for Katai, is different through. than... Oh, no. Oh, oh! That is the worst miss I've ever seen in FIFA history. Jao Plata. Wow. He had a sitter that turned into a throw-in. Oh my God, that is that is awesomely bad. Like that's gonna be on Sports Center bad. That's incredible. That was incredible. Oh my god, has Abubakar touched the ball yet? I'm going to call him Abubakar because there are so many Kamaras in the league. I didn't sign Kai Kamara. I don't have Ola Kamara, which I probably should have tried to sign Ola. Well, he, he was some cash. I'm good with this, actually. But then this this actually scares me. It puts me in a position where Giovanni Dos Santos is the man next season. Because I signed Giovanni Dos Santos to a pre-contract. And I'd rather of him not been the man. I would have rather stuck him in central attacking midfield, moved him around, had him been a luxury piece. Nah. Now, Bastian Schweinsteiger. And Jones. Yeah, now he's going to be... Oh God. He's going to be expected to score goals. It's Lennon. Um, has has Giovanni Dos Santos in his career, I'm, I'm just... I'm legitimately asking, has he ever been Way asked to score wing, goals? The wide because, see, that's the kind of crap I do. I know a player. I like to watch him play. I'm not huge on tactics and stuff, so... Oh! That was so close! No! Ah! Uh, All right, be good. We're over it now. <sighs> anyway, so I don't pay attention enough to, to tactics. So, like, I'm that kind of guy who's dumb enough to think that kind of thing. Like, especially, like, even when, when the league makes good signings of players that I've heard of but I don't really watch well. play. Like, oh, Wayne Rooney, yeah, man, he's going to come score a bunch of goals. No, he's going to play center attacking midfield and distribute the ball. Which he, way, way, way better player still than I gave him credit for or thought he was. I mean, yes, he's not good enough for the Premier League anymore, which is okay. <laughs> you know, 99 point something percent of the planet is not good enough to start in the Premier League. So, you know, whatever. Doesn't make him any less of a player. I mean, it does. A slightly less of a player, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. The whole point stands is he's still super talented. So even though he couldn't get it done at Everton the way they wanted him to get it done, which basically Everton wants you to get, like, Everton legit is like, hey, what up? Yeah, here's a Band-Aid, a rubber band, and a paper clip. Do something. No! I tried. I tried the fancy shot, and I screwed it. Ugh. You only get one chance to make a first impression, and I, I skunked it. Thankfully, that wasn't in front of the home fans, which have been known to boo us. 
Early on in the season, I got booed constantly. We did lose a lot of games at home, though. Which, by the way, I have not checked my record in a long time. We're going to do that after this game. Because we may, we, we may look into a left back after this game, to be honest. I want one. Silver. Ugh. I'm at this crossroad in my life. My hair, like... I just recently had my hair cut. No, I mean, not that recently. Like, I had it cut. Sure. And then... Man, you know, Horvath is not catching as many balls as I, I thought he was well, the there for a while. But, um, anyway, where was I going with all this? <sighs> It'll be a throw. Anyway, I'm at this crossroad in my life where, Beckham. like, I, it's now time. It's time. If I'm going to do this. I'm going to just, I, I, I got to go this week and get a haircut. Or, it's time to grow it out. It's time to get it long. Flow it. It's like real long, too. It's been a long while since I had long, long hair. I don't know if you noticed on the channel. Like, especially when I was playing Spider-Man. My hair was, I just, I let it go. I was just letting it go, and it was getting a little out of control, and I was always... Try and get it out of my face. Stop looking like a crazy person. Looking up at the screen. That was a bad pass. Why is Ruiz Alvo playing so poorly? He has disappointed. He really like he gave. I mean that's just the point. That's the point. Like that's how bad the season was at the early part of this. Who'd they get? Oh my god, Jordi Alba? Wow. What a weird transfer. Oh! So far I'm actually happy with Kamar. Oh, that's not who I want. I wanted it to go out left here. What happened? Anyway. I'm happy with the way Kamara's playing so far. Mosisian was literally invisible his entire time on the pitch. Boom! And they've opened the scoring now. That was a goofy so celebration. I liked it though. Here with a fine goal. Was a good goal and it came at a, a crucial time I think for his side. Real captain's input there. Oof. I just hit it hard. It just had enough speed to get past the keeper. It wasn't in the corner. I thought it was in the corner more. But uh I just hit it hard. Very upset. I've, I only did the crazy person thing like twice and played him in defense twice and he only has two goals I want ha, ha, I wanted him gone I wanted the money from that transfer and then I just couldn't that that was a problem that was a that was a, I shouldn't have taken an extra touch and B that was a bad touch The space to go forward into with the ball. Here's Bear. Put into the middle. Random thought, well away, just well from the word goal. touch. Can can you believe that we ever listened to Bloodhound Gang as a society? I mean, it was funny. Their first album was funny. But still, that was a thing. And we all allowed it to happen. Silver. Costa. Silva. You know what? I talked all that gar garbage. I think I'm going to listen to them tomorrow. I'm going to throw on one fierce well, beer coaster. Down, I'm going to listen to the whole stupid thing 
even the dumb the song about oh I well, should have let that replay play um it's not all brute force. There's a lot of subtlety involved in him placing it to the left there. They've set it up well for the cross. Boom! Get that ball out of there. Now, what? that was... This is the summer transfer window. So that means... Um, Abubakar Kamara has just come off a full season. So I don't ex I mean either he's going to be super sharp or his fitness is going to be down. One of the two. I hope Fulham doesn't get I mean and it's 1-0 here. Now I don't even remember. I think Fulham's in the Premier League this year but they'll probably get relegated. I like Fulham. I do. I, and it's, it's strictly because of the full America era, because that was back when I was like, ooh, the national team. I was a big U.S. and N's national team fan. And really, I mean, in, in theory, I am still, because I'm a big fan of all those players, right? And I, I just, I like them. I want to see them do well, and not just because I'm like, uh, what do they call it? Xeophobic? But just, they're just the people I know. You know, and then like, even all the outlets that I, you know, like, that's the other thing, too, is all the outlets that I consume for soccer. Um, you know, they're, they're U.S. focused. So then not only do I get the Major League Soccer aspect, which is what I look for, right, is the Major League a Soccer aspect, but they also are very much covering the national team. So then, like, I'm, I am enjoying Western McKinney and... Um, Christian Pulisic and like I am having fun seeing people like Tyler Adams play over in Germany and you know I do care I you know what big shout out to Terrence Boyd coming to MLS I wish this would have happened like five years ago but he had a real vicious injury I'm pretty sure which kind of derailed his progress which man think of all think of some of the people that that derailed their progress you know we'll never like I just, you know what I want? I want not a 30 on 30. I want like a real like hour, maybe two hour movie about like the grittiness of U.S. soccer. Like I want Santino Caranta to be on there talking about what he went through. If you don't know, he, he, he'll talk about it. I want, you know, I want to know like, you know, all the racist shit that these guys had to go through when they went to these other countries, you know, or even just in our own, you know, it happens, like, look, I, I might have screwed up the story, but I'm pretty sure Marisa Dew's car got lit on fire in Glasgow, I'm pretty sure, or, or he just was racially abused and someone else's car was caught on fire, but I'm pretty sure his car, they set on fire, but, um, Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, you know, so, like, I'm a fan of Christian Pulisic. I'm a fan of uh, these guys, and it's fun to see them succeed and do well and stuff. And, you know, it's interesting to me. I'm definitely not obsessed with an American player. It's just when I am paying attention to something other than Major League Soccer, it's an American at a club or whatever. So then, that to wrap this all back around, my favorite player ever, <laughs> despite all the all the love I continually spew on a do. Oh, oh God! Okay, I missed the whole point. Yeah, I want the grittiness of of American soccer. I wanted Santino Caranta. I want. Oh God, that was so close. I wanted um. I want a full-on, hour-long, deep dive into Freddy Adu. I want, I want to know it all. I want everything. Even him cheating on that little pop singer girl of his that she made a music video about. <laughs> she made a music video about it. She did. Anyway, um... Oh, God. That derailed me. What else? I mean, I, I, you know, like, I want to know the stuff, like, I feel like we get everything so late. Like, in the Premier League, you know, Mario Balotelli can't sneeze. Well, okay, he's not in the Premier League anymore. I get it. But, no, like, Mario Balotelli overseas, 
any league he's in. Can't sneeze without us knowing about it. Which, oh God, he just signed a deal somewhere. I really, I would, I would donate a kidney to get him to play for Chicago. That's another player I'm a big fan of. Anyway, this is in. Beautiful. Ah! Gobble him up. I love three points. Wow, Katai has five goals this season? Anyway, I mean, for real, like, I'm so saddened that I didn't see Freddie do play in the NASL. I just, his story just baffles me and like I love those kind of stories like other other countries slash leagues have those stories like isn't Michael Owen basically well no I guess Freddie Adu never had that huge moment that Michael or not moment but like year or two that oh mm, that was pretty it was off the post that was beautiful alright I'm you know what it's one game. I got to chill out, but so far money well spent. But um be a substitution here for the home side. Yeah, dude, like his story just fascinates me and the clubs that he played for and the people he chose. And like that just it just fascinating. And like stuff like I that's what I was saying was like the TMZ I guess style reporting like I don't want all that dumb stuff like I don't want like every second of like oh well he let's get you know Kellen Acosta's top 10 list and I mean you know we we can get a little bit of that but like I don't feel like I didn't know Edson Buttle got a DUI until like years later like what was the deal like with with Eddie Johnson what happened in Florida like which I love Eddie Johnson actually I should retract that statement I love everything about Eddie Johnson he had some choice words I Eddie Johnson Jermaine Jones they're both saints they really are so it's time for a change they've got to try and improve their performance somehow Talking about saints, I think about people like that who tell the truth, who are saints, like that. And yes, I mean, I know he's not a perfect individual, but everybody, all of you, every one of you, owes Jose Canseco a giant apology. He was... Yeah! Yes. First game, get one in the books. Beautiful. Oh, look at the guy in the Carhartt sweatshirt crying. Well, they've increased their lead here. Oh, God, I feel so good to be alive, baby. That's the first time you heard that on this channel. Anyway. Everybody owes Jose Canseco an apology. Really All of you owe today. Jose Canseco an apology. Very off -color. He Silver. he told the truth about everything. Oh, he uh, wrote the book not just to make money, but like I think his nephew or somebody close to him passed away from you know steroid usage, um, side effects and stuff. Like it just. No, no, no. See? No. We're not pulling this crap. It just does it. You make one sub and it just screws the whole damn thing up. Alright, ugh. See? Alright. Silver. Good challenge here. It's gonna be a substitution. It's for the away team. Oh my god, so. And they've spread it out wide here. Anyway, I to get in I couldn't I can't get enough of I think it's like called once in a lifetime or some craziness, but 
I can't get enough of that New York Cosmos documentary. I've watched it like four or five times over the years. Obviously, like I'm not like, oh, the last two weeks I've been watching, but like, there's just so much. There's like a wealth of like just interesting soccer from the early 2000s. I mean, I guess from, and not to make it too MLS centric, it just. Major League Soccer's introduction, and, and really, no, I should take that back. Really, the World Cup in 94 is the moment that, like, things started to happen. I know, like, that's so cheesy to say, and it's, like, what they ex quote, unquote wanted to happen when they had the tournament, but, like, everybody expected, like, where we are now to be, like, right after, like, in 97, they expected us to be here, and then, like, now they would want us to be like the Premier League, but it, it takes time. You planted a seed. You planted a seed. You didn't like move a plant. And seed was planted in me, man. The '94 World Cup was the coolest stuff ever. He's gonna trust his goalkeeper's footwork here with a back pass. Let me see that footwork. Mahalovic on the field for possibly the last time. That was a bad pass by Ruiz Alvo. I feel like I say that every time he plays. And it's going to be a minimum of three minutes to be played of added time. For all that celebrating I was doing. Oh! Also, I'm a dummy. I like just now realized that I have a game in like three days so like everybody's tired and dead everybody man you know this would encompass the last episode as well I mean if you couldn't tell by the shirt well, I bulk record some I mean some of these I say bulk record knock one or two out here or there three or four here or there things like that but anyway I digress which I say far too much. Ah, uh, yes. Three points. So beautiful. And big moment for Kamara. Abubakar Kamara off to a amazing start. I'm so happy. So happy he put one in the back of the net. There will be a competition next season between him and... Uh, uh, what's his face? Dos Santos. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Oh, I hope this midweek game wasn't a cup game. Yeah, of course it was. Oh, God, I'm so stupid. Whatever, whatever. I'm I'm just gonna ride it till the wheels fall off. I'm starting everybody. We're not on track. Oh, why? The apocalypse of players being sold is still happening. Why would he want to go? Why did he agree to terms? Why? Uh, no. So where were we? Yes. So we need a center attacking midfielder and a center defensive midfielder. Wait, where? Oh, there you go. It's about to be like, did they accept that loan? I was so mad. And this guy I've tried to loan four times. He rejects every deal. I signed him to loan him. It didn't happen. Need to see what kind of position I put myself in. I could survive with that. And he has a buyout clause. That is not that expensive. That's fine. Retract that. I don't need it. I don't want it. 
You know, in this game so far, right now, Atlanta. <laughs> I just brought him up. Let's see. Let's see if he goes. Accept the offer. It's all right. We'll check it out later. But uh We're going to see about Greg Garza. We're going to see. What's his bio clause? Oh, nothing because Oh god, okay, it was three million anyway. Ugh. I don't want to sign a pre contract. I want somebody now. Alright, well How and why is this the default? In what world was this ever the default? This is this is making me so angry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. We're going to check one more time. We're going to check one more time to see if we're going to purchase anything this evening. And I said a thing, and that's kind of crappy. These are people, but... Obviously, I'm just talking about the game, but still, like you, I, you know, you have to treat yourself to a higher standard because you have to. That's great for next year. Man, this is bad. Anyway, this is so bad. I just, I don't even have words for what is going on right now. I don't have a single center defensive midfielder s scouted. Not a one. Oh, oh, wait. There's one. Aaron Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson. How much do they want for him? We can approach it. No. Nope. I'm not allowing this to happen. I'm not ending this episode on such a down note. Because we played so well. And we won so much. It's fine. You know what? We're good. We got this. I don't care. We're playing the next game. We're going to check players later. If you feel good, if you listen, I want you, if you enjoy this at all, or if you're so excited, just like I am, that Abubakar Kamara came aboard and put one in the back of the net, give it a like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, man. Again, FC Neo Tokyo, it's been very nice having you. Please come check me out over on Twitch or right on YouTube. New videos four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Sprinkle them everywhere. So, like I said, it's been nice. Peace out.